<laughs> Smart move by Ecstasy. Ecstasy recognized the fact that he could kill two birds with one stone. Oh, but Vortex makes him pay another drop kick. Leg drop now by the big man. He'd probably hurt a little more if he wasn't throwing like a 160 pound guy into Vortex. Yeah, maybe so. And Matt Fury breaks up what very well could have been a three count. They've been going at it tooth and nail. Although the crowd might respect all three individuals, watch this. Tremendous reversal by the youngster. Although the crowd might respect, running shooting star. Cover. Oh, only two. Well, the crowd might respect all three individuals, but only one can leave this building with a future shot at the championship. So much hangs in the balance for this match. Any one of these men would absolutely give their left arm to get a shot at that championship belt. Yeah, very competitive here in TWF. Very tense in the locker room. Everyone wants to be champion. Everyone wants to rise to the top and be the man. But this right here is a necessary step for all three individuals involved in order to earn that opportunity to wrestle for the title. Now that this were up close and personal, folks. Well, he's talking to those ladies in the front row. That's what Ecstasy always does. Suplex, perhaps, not quite. Blocked by Matt Fury. Oh, look at this. Oh. Cold hard floor. No explanation needed. Uh-oh. Oh, and Matt Fury gets one too, but that had to take a lot out of Vortex in the process, and all three individuals laid out. And damn right, but Vortex seems to be the least affected of it. He put that move on Matt Fury. How does that feel? And the smoke clears, definitely Vortex is the one ahead. There's that running shooting star one more time. Oh, how does that feel? How, how, how does that feel? Matt Fury didn't get a second to celebrate that move. Bang! Oh, spine on ground equals pain and suffering. Vortex, clear-cut advantage at this particular moment. This could be what he's looking for right here. Center of gravity. Center of gravity. Oh, he flipped out of it. What athleticism by Matt Fury. Look at this. Oh, sliced bread. Again and again, every single time. One, two. Wow. Fury wins. Fury wins. Amazing. And what has to be the biggest damn win of that young man's career. Matt Fury. What a win. Fury. At 50, maybe 70 to 1 odds, there's no way anybody gave any chance to this kid. Dumps at these two guys in the ring, and he walks away the winner. Am amazing. I can't believe it. I don't think Vortex can believe it. Well, here, we, I thought it was done. Center of gravity over. We're all going home. But look at this. He got out of it. He flipped out of trouble and was able to... Boom, sliced bread number two, Shinobi, whatever you want to call it. Matt Fury dumped Vortex on his head and got a three count. What a win for that kid. I've been in TWF for almost a year now. What? Everyone's telling me I need to be better on myself in the ring. Now, I am now the new number one contender for the world championship. Yeah! But I also want to thank both these veterans right here. Yeah. Because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be in this ring right now. Yeah. The Mutual Admiration Society, Jacoby Jones again. You shut up, Dick. He's been a fan of TWF forever. Yes, um. I know he's Scorpion's brother, but I want a DNA test. This guy's got none of Scorpion's blood coursing through his body. He's got respect for the veterans. That's what he's got. We're looking at the future of TWF right there. Next year's Colonel Lynch Awards Brown Nose of the Year. What a win for Matt Fury. Nobody likes a company suck-up, Jacoby Jones. A live pro wrestling is on its way to your town. 
this Sunday, Fair Oaks, VFW Hall, 8990 Krutoff Avenue. Doors at 4.30, special start time of 5 o'clock. You need to show up. If you can't make the Colonial from the Sacramento area, show up in Fair Oaks. There's a restaurant slash bar next door. It's always a good time this Sunday. Chicka, chicka, boom, baby. VFW Hall, you got to show up to it. It's on a Sunday. That's right, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Just July 10th, that's all. It's going to be the greatest wrestling show in the world. That's all. Saturday, July 16th. TWF prevents revengeance. Colonial Theater, 3522 Stockton Boulevard in Sacktown. Doors at 7, bell time at 7.30. It's always a hoot. It's always a holler. It's always the best for your dollar at the Colonial Theater. You're damn right. Just like the thermometer outside is rising and rising, the temperature inside the Colonial Theater is rising and rising from all the hot action in the squared circle, baby. That's right, revengeance. And then we go on the road, so to speak. Friday, July 22nd. Silks Bar and Grill, 14825 Lakeshore Drive in Clear Lake, California. The show will start at 6 p.m. It's a beautiful outdoor venue. It will be awesome in Clear Lake. TWF invades Clear Lake. I'll tell you, we're going to put that tiny little bird on its ear. It'll never know what hit it. It'll be like a tornado blowing through that town. They're going to like wake up and go, whoa, what just happened? Yeah, TWF just happened, baby. And then the next day after that, another show. Brick Hall, 16374 Main Street, Lower Lake. Doors at 6.30, bell time at 7. That's more of the traditional straight-ahead show. The night before is a bar. You get the best of both worlds. Spend your weekend with the Twift. That's right. A little more of a family venue. Gertie, Elmer, you could bring the grandkids. What the hell? It's going to be live pro wrestling. They will love it. Well, live wrestling, unlike anything else. I say that all the time, and I mean it. July 16th, Revengeance, Colonial Theater, Sacramento, Vortex versus Rufio, Samoan chain match. You must, you must show up for that. There are a lot of specialty matches, but I'll tell you, the Samoan chain match is one of my favorites because there's nowhere to run. You are chained to your opponent. Another reason to show up live and in person on July 16th at the Colonial Theater, the Jake and Stephen the Beast Smith finally do battle one-on-one. Stephen the Beast Smith, eh, great wrestler, but guess what? Upstairs, eh, he's a few light bulbs short of a bright pack. How's that sound? Jake got too much intelligence in the bag, baby. Well, in the bag, your, only your opinion. Whitley versus Crystal, one on one on July 16th at the Colonial Theater. But it's a lumberjack match for the women's championship. Ring surrounded by wrestlers. It will be intense and insane. How can I do the commentary with you if I'm at the ringside? If, I don't. if you're groping the girls, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be great. Well, you are invited, you and everyone, to watch the WWE SummerSlam pay-per-view at Shenanigans. Sunday, August 14th, 5 p.m., the address, 705 J Street in Sacramento. All ages are welcome to come watch the pay-per-view with us. It's the only place in what I hear almost all of Northern California to watch a WWE pay-per-view in a restaurant setting, you know, get some chicken wings, get some uh, steak, do whatever. Plus, after the pay-per-view is over, two bonus TWF matches live and in person, and one of them, I'm hearing, will be a title match. It is going to be a wrestling extravaganza. You get to watch the pay-per-view, and then you get to watch live TWF wrestling. Absolutely awesome. Shenanigans is a name, and shenanigans is what's going to be going on in the ring.
on the heels of that amazing title defense last week. Next week, Polly Denali defends the title against Scorpion right here on television slash online. Two out of three falls. That's how it's going to be decided. Two out of three falls. You never know what's going to happen. But the nice thing is, you lose one, you win one, and then it's decided on the third one. Moves of the moment, also from last week. Watch this. Terrible. Luxury footwear. I can't even look at Crystal without getting mad. 3526 Stockton Boulevard in Sacramento for your TWF tickets, t-shirts, and all Dick Pearsall's favorite jerking gear. You're damn right. Come on by and check it all out. They've got some of the coolest shoes you will ever, and I do mean ever, see. Man, she thought I was playing. You said you said I, the I got this. She thought I was playing. This, you know what this says? This says, Crystal and TWF are unfair. You've treated us refs like garbage for far too long. Far too long. I'm so, so sick of their garbage. And they think, do you honestly think, do you honestly think I was gonna take that stuff? Do they think, I got this. You know what, I'll tell you something, Crystal. See, this says we're on strike. You know what that means? It means I'm not, I'm not going to be a referee at your shows until you treat us, treat us fair. Not him, not Tim Grimm, not anybody. I can speak for all the referees, you know why? Because I'm the head of referees. This says you're unfair. You are unfair, and you know what? I think this might last for a while, because I don't see you giving in, and I'm not giving in this time. Are you gonna give in? Uh, he's not gonna give in either. Tim Grimm's not gonna give in. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what happens, unless you give us what we want, we are on strike. You see this? On strike, Crystal. On strike. You know what that means? That means you will get your big ass out there and you will ref matches. Call it, why? Because the best, the best referee that you had ever in this company is not going to do it. I'm going to sit on my butt, pay my $10 like a fan, and do nothing. Why? Because you and TWF are unfair. Because I'm on strike. Do you get that? On strike. I was not playing when I said I'm on strike. Not only am I on strike, he's on strike. You know what this is? This is a referee. You know what? That's what the shirt means. It means he's a referee. Tim Grimm, fortunately he's not here because you furloughed him. Still not back yet. He is also on strike. We are on strike. Crystal and TWF are unfair. Come on, let's go. Shh. Shh. Be very, very quiet. The little boy is sleeping. Just here to say that Christian Black is a scumbag. Christian Black is one of those little peons that thinks he can make a difference with his little referee strike. Referees are a dime a dozen, you scumbag. And last week, from Turlock, California, me and the lovely, beautiful Crystal showed Christian Black who's boss. It was beautiful. And then on a related note, July 16th, Colonial Theater, yours truly, will finally face Stephen the Beast Smith one-on-one. -on -one. Great. Excellent. Just when Beast thinks he's got his hands on me and can get some revenge, I slip through. I'm too smart, Beast. You're frustrated. You're angry. You're pissed off at the world. That's great. That works in my favor. I've been frustrating young punks like you for years. Yes, Beast, you are talented. Yes, Beast, maybe you're the future of TWF, blah, 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 blah. The only problem is you will always, and I mean always, be outsmarted by guys like me. My brain is way too complex for your pity, petty little self, okay? <clears throat> I'm trying to whisper because my son, the chosen one, the Gerber baby as they call him, the cutest kid on the planet, my son is sleeping and dreaming about the day that his father beats the living crap out of Stephen the Beast Smith, Christian Black, or anyone.
anyone else who dares to cross me. Okay? Bye-bye. Here we go. TV title on the line. This guy did not even wait for his music. Following the absolution tradition. You really do love me. You don't understand. This is this admiration. This is true respect. TV title of TWF is on the line in this three-way matchup. Chooses to come out a different entrance way. Chooses to come out before we can even cue up his music. He's a loud mouth and a half. He's your champion. Where is he? Where is he? And I will admit, he's a talented loudmouth. Battles on the line, people. Rob Banks has held that title many times. Always finds a way to regain it, to overcome adversity, if you will. individual right there. Blue chip and a half a few years ago. I'd say he's arrived. Of course his cousin, downtown Whitney Brown, here at ringside for moral support. Always good to have family around. A big shot Khabibro has more plans Unfortunately, he's a true mountain man. Make a little noise for So that, my friends, is the X Factor. The wild card in this championship equation for the TV title. It's a 328 pounder from Modesto. You're damn right. And how about this booking by our EVP Crystal? Fabulous three-way for the TV title. Well, this was advertised for many weeks as a one-on-one -on -one match. And then at the last second, the power-hungry Crystal has added Lockjaw to this. Throwing the whole thing for a complete loop. Just like a woman always changing her mind. One day she likes red shoes, next day she likes yellow shoes. What the hell? Let's make this a three-way. Oh, come on.